Today, we've got an exciting comparison lined up for you. The Samsung Galaxy A55 5G versus the Samsung Galaxy A35. We'll be diving into the specs to help you decide which one might be the right fit for you. Let's get started. Starting with the display, both phones offer stunning visuals. The Galaxy A55 boasts a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED LED display with a resolution of 2400x1080 pixels, giving you a pixel density of 405 PPI. On the other hand, the Galaxy A35 comes with a slightly larger 6.6-inch Super AMOLED display, maintaining the same resolution, but with a slightly lower pixel density at 399 PPI. Both screens feature a 20 to 9 ratio and a smooth 120 Hz refresh rate for a fluid user experience. When it comes to display features, both phones support AGR, ensuring vibrant and dynamic visuals. Additionally, they are equipped with ambient light sensors and proximity sensors. The Galaxy F35 has an extra layer of protection with scratch-resistant glass, according to Gorilla Glass 5. Under the hood, these phones pack a punch. Both devices are powered by an octa-core processor and feature a dedicated GPU for smooth graphics performance. With 6GB of RAM and 120GB of internal storage, you'll have enough power and space for your apps and media. Plus, both phones support micro SDXC expansion up to 1,024 gigabytes, giving you plenty of room to grow. Moving on to the battery, the Galaxy F55 and A35 are evenly matched with a 5,000 NAH capacity. They both support fast charging with a max charge speed of 25 watt, ensuring you spend less time tethered to an outlet and more time enjoying your device. Now let's talk about the camera setup. The Galaxy A55 comes with a powerful triple camera system, featuring a 50 megapixel main camera with OIS and autofocus, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 5 megapixel macro camera. On the other hand, the Galaxy A35 offers a 48 megapixel main camera with OIS and autofocus, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 5 megapixel macro camera. Both phones have LED flash, support video recording, and feature a front camera. 32 megapixel on the A55 and 13 megapixel on the A35. In terms of design, both phones offer a sleek look. The materials used include glass on the back and a plastic frame. They also share IP67 resistance, protecting them from dust and water. Both phones feature in-screen fingerprint sensors for convenient and secure unlocking, and the key placements are identical with the volume controls and the lock slash unlock key on the right side. For Connect, the Samsung Galaxy A55 and A35 are expected to be announced in 2024, bringing you the latest in Samsung's A series lineup. And there you have it, a detailed comparison of the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G and the Samsung Galaxy A35. Each phone has its strengths, so it ultimately comes down to your personal preferences and priorities. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. As we all know, the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G is releasing, so let's talk about it. If you have already watched this video, you can skip this part. The much anticipated Galaxy A55 is on the horizon and we have got all the details you need. Samsung's Galaxy A50 series has been a standout in the smartphone market, particularly for its impressive features at an attractive price point. Following the success of the Galaxy A54, Samsung is gearing up for the release of its successor, the Galaxy F55. Let's delve into everything we currently know about this eagerly awaited device. Going by historical patterns, Samsung typically unveils its Galaxy A series phones towards the end of the first quarter, so we can anticipate the Galaxy F55 to hit the stage around March 2024, following the release schedule of its predecessors. Shifting gears to variance in pricing, Bluetooth side data hints at three Galaxy A55 models, SM A 556 b SMA 556E and SMA 556E underscore DS. The SMA 556B seems tailored for Europe, while the others may target Asian markets. While exact pricing details are scarce if we consider past generations, the Galaxy A54 at £449 slash $449, the Galaxy A53 at £399 slash $449, and the Galaxy A52 at £399 slash $499. It's reasonable to expect the Galaxy A55 to stay below the £500 slash $500 mark. Design. Leaped renders showcase the Galaxy A55 in three captivating colors, 
awesome ice blue, awesome lilac, and awesome navy. Inspired by the A54, it features the key island design with a subtly raised frame around the power and volume keys, confirming a sleep metal build. The phone has rounded corners, a protruding rear camera array, and a flat display with a noticeable bezel and a punch hole for the selfie camera. Expected dimensions, 161.1 x 77.3, 8.2 millimeters, 6.3 x 3.0, 0.32 0 inches display. Now, turning our attention to the display. While exact details on the Galaxy A55's display specs remain uncertain, if Samsung continues with the A54's display, users can expect satisfaction. Speculations point towards a 6.5 inch flat display featuring a centered Infinity O front camera. Anticipated specifications include full HD plus resolution and a refresh rate of up to 120 Hz. Given the A54's impressive display, any enhancements in this area will surely elevate the overall user experience. Performance. Now, let's talk about performance. The Galaxy A55 continues the series evolution, moving from the criticized Exynos 1280 to the improved Exynos 1380 in the A54. Now, it's rumored to feature the latest Exynos 1480, a promising upgrade. According to Geekbench 6 results, this new soak is expected to be paired with an unconventional GPU choice, the Xclipse 530 based on AMD's RDNA2 architecture. While the CPU improvements may not be groundbreaking, the shift in GPU could potentially enable the A55 to support ray tracing in games, although this feature is yet to be confirmed. The A55 prototype scored 1127 in the single-core test and 3090 in the multi-core test, surpassing the A54 by a slight margin. The device is expected to retain 8GB of RAM, maintaining a balance between performance and efficiency. Cameras. Shifting our focus to the camera setup, rumors suggest that the Galaxy A55 might not bring significant changes in this department. The Galaxy Club report suggests no major changes, but that's not necessarily bad news. The A54 delivered impressive photos for its price. While the rear camera setup seems consistent, unfortunately, there's no news on any front camera updates. If the leaks are accurate, the Galaxy A55 might continue to use the same 32 megapixel front camera sensor as its predecessor, the Galaxy A54. While the A54's front camera delivers decent performance, some users may have hoped for an upgrade given the iterative nature of smartphone releases. Battery and charging. Now onto the Galaxy A55's battery and charging. TUV Rhineland certification reveals 25 LU fast charging with 9V and 2.55 as support. The 3C certification reinforces Samsung's dedication to fast charging in mid-range phones. While exact battery details are limited, we anticipate reliable 5,000 mAh cell for extended usage. Network and connectivity. Moving on to network and connectivity, the Bluetooth SIG certification reveals that the Galaxy F55 will sport Bluetooth 5.3, matching the capabilities of its predecessor, the A54. Consistent connectivity ensures a smooth user experience, especially with wireless accessories. Software. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about the software. The Galaxy F55 is gearing up for launch with Android 14 and Samsung's One UI 6, promising a seamless and user-friendly experience. This combo suggests exciting enhancements to Samsung's ecosystem. Plus, users can anticipate robust software support with the possibility of receiving four major Android updates throughout the device's lifespan. Stay tuned for those latest Android advancements. <laughs>